This is Tom D'Angelo, along with my colleague Anthony Chang, and we're at the Miami Heat Media Day. We're going to bring you wall-to-wall -wall heat coverage all year, starting today. And Anthony, there was a, a lot happening today. I, the very first thing was Pat Riley meeting with a group of writers, and you know, Pat Riley kind of unleashed, and he uh, he he went off on uh, the whole Chris Bosh situation. He spoke a lot about this team, and and the biggest takeaway from that was uh, there were two things. Pat Riley believes. Chris Bosch has played his final game for the Miami Heat. That is clear. Uh, Riley saying that the that Chris failing the last physical he did a as he did a week ago uh, is not a good sign, and he does not expect Chris to ever play for the Heat again. And and really, that was probably something we thought was the case, but no one really had said it like that. And the other thing about Riley, he was not happy the way Chris uh, characterized the Heat medical team during his entire process of trying to be cleared from, from having the uh, blood clots the last two years. Uh, he, he does not like the way that uh, Chris kind of just, just said that he was pushed aside and that the medical team didn't have Chris's best interests. And, and Pat was not happy over that because he said he knows how hard this medical team has worked and the doctors work for this organization. Other than that, Anthony, um, you know, with, with kind of the Chris Bosch and the big three year and Dwayne Wade, that is gone. We're, we're entering into a whole new era for the Miami Heat. And how do you think this team will look? And, how, and what does Eric Spolstra say about how this team will look without Bosch and without Dwayne? Well, I think it's, it's hard to say what this team is going to be. Um, even Spolstra said he's curious to find out what this team will do, how it will come together. He said this training camp is going to be different than others he's been a part of as far as, as so much evaluation is going to be involved this year um, with a bunch of new faces on the roster. Half the roster, 10, fa 10 new players out of 20. Um, so it's going to be a totally different look. Um, Goran Dragic and Hassan are the only two starters returning. That means there'll be three new starters as well. Um, there's a lot of question marks. Obviously, no Wade, as Tom said, no Bosch. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see what this team turns into. And I think the players, Spolstra, all the coaches, Riley, they know that it's going to, it's going to be a process. It's going to take some time for this team to come together, and they just have to be patient. You know, we got a little bit of a taste of that last year, the second half of the season, when Chris Bosch, after Chris Bosch went down with the blood clots, uh, although they did have Dwayne Wade, so it, it is going to be even different. And, and just kind of wrapping up the, the whole Bosch situation, Eric Spolstra talked about it too and saying how close he is and how, how deeply personal this has been with him because of his relationship with Chris. And just spoke to Goran Dragic, and, and, and even though that we thought this was coming, the team is kind of shocked, and that's the exact word that Goran used. What he was shocked to hear that he probably will never ever play another, you know, minute of basketball with Chris. Uh, so that that will wrap it up from uh, media day here today. Anthony will be going to the Bahamas following the Heat this week as they travel uh, and they and they start training camp. Five days training camp, a tough assignment over in the Atlantis Hotel, uh, and then we'll be back here for three weeks of training camp before the season starts. So be sure to follow us on Twitter at Tom D'Angelo 44 and at Anthony underscore Chang and on the Palm Beach Post website and our Heat Facebook page.